What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Outcast the Outlaw. Here with up and coming artist Trey Lamar. Just yeah, dropped his up, mixtape, Simplicity. Tell us a little bit about Simplicity and how you got the name. Man, Simplicity based off of just being simple, basically. Taking a simple route, not doing everything complicated, not being all over the place. Just taking it back to what I was saying earlier, talking talking to some, uh, all the artists, you know what I'm saying? Not all the artists, but most of these young up and coming artists just all over the place with their music. Can't even really hear what they saying, you know what I'm saying? Don't even really have a set topic they talking about or they talking about just guns, drugs, and, you know what I'm saying, killing people, bitches, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. But it's like going the other route and actually talking about something in your music and having a simple concept, that's what basically what I was trying to go, go to, you know what I'm saying, or hear that in my music and keep it simple, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So I said that you only had six songs on the mixtape, so yeah. can we, so that's just letting us hear a little bit of what you got to expect something more. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. I mean, I got a lot of songs recorded, but that was basically, I just wanted to go with uh, quality instead of having a lot of songs. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to just get the best of me because a couple of, uh, at least three of those songs were old songs, like old projects that I never finished or always wanted to, you know what I'm saying, get to that 100%, like making it sound how I wanted to sound fully, but I just wanted to put out my best songs, I actually had something out there, because I didn't have anything out there at all. Okay. People ask me, you got anything out? I'm like, nah, you know what I'm saying? So right. I just had to have something out there, so you can see what I could do, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, so like we was talking about earlier, we used like the simple, simplicity, the name simple. So yeah. you ever had a time where you did something simple instead of, you know what I'm saying, taking a long route? I mean, I have, but that's basically what I what I just started to learn. You know what I'm saying? Like that's something that I just learned that I have to take the simple route because it's like all the mistakes that I made. You know what I'm saying? It's like I did the complicated route. I wasted time. You know what I'm saying? But it's like now that I know, that's more the reason why I named it that. You know what I'm saying? Like basically, me finding out I need to do this shit simple. Like cause I don't got that much time. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how much time I got. You know what I'm saying? Like we all don't, so it's like can't be wasting no time out here. Okay, okay, okay. So I seen on the mixtape, you know, it showed you and say presents O C E Y N F J M E. Tell me, I'm saying, where you fit in that, or like, and how the name came about. Yeah, O C Y N F J M D. That's basically a collection of three groups. Mm -hmm. One of the groups is called Out of Circle. That's my man Doug B and my man Cool. They set that joint up. And uh, Y N F. That's basically the the primary group of the whole thing that put every, that put all three of them together. My enough is young and foolish. I got that John tatted on me right here. That's you know what I'm saying. Basically, the group we set up when we was in high school. Me, real, my man Mike, my man Jeff, my little brother, my, my little brother Ralph. We all set that John. That's when we was recording Fat Trail. We did it. We did a track with oh, my cousin, my, uh, my cousin uh, Steph. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying. We did a track with uh, TJ New, New Impressions. We did tracks with a lot of people back in the day, so it's like, that's the foundation for that. And GMD, my man Moneybag Slim, that's his uh, music group, Get Money Daily. And they on the rise right now, about to drop something called No More Games. My man about to drop his tape, uh, I think next month, you know what I'm saying? So look out for that too. Okay, so all y'all just came together in high school, put y'all groups together, and yeah. now it's all one. Yeah. Okay, so I said you had a song with Cool. Do you have any, you got any songs with any other people in y'all group or anything? Yeah, I got songs, I got songs with basically everybody, but as far as new songs, I got a new song with Moneybag Slim coming out. It's unreleased right now, but it's a, basically a female song, you know what I'm saying? I got a, I got a lot of those as far as my features, you know what I'm saying? Because that's one of my, that's, I, I would say is my best talent, singing, you know what I'm saying? I sing better than I can rap, but I feel like I can rap too, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, so... I want to ask you a question, like, you got only only one life to live. Yeah, one life to live, You yeah. got ride, ride for you. Ride for you. You got really real. Really real. You got simple. It's and, simple, yeah. And baby. Yeah. Out of those six songs, which ones would you pick? Which one would you say is your favorite and why? Mm. I, don't even, I wouldn't even really have a favorite, but right now, the one I've been cranking the most since it, you know what I'm saying, release, I always, you know what I'm saying, play it from the beginning, but I crank the most to the one I did the most recently, which is the intro, like I did, One Life to Live. Right, right, right. I, I basically, that was the song that I had the idea for, but I did that song last because I couldn't really do it as fast as I wanted to, so right. I 
that's probably I probably would say that's my favorite right now. But all the time I say it's just the baby jump because that's the one I always wanted to finish. That's the song from back in the day that I never got to finish because the studio mess ups and all that stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so growing up in the inner city, you know, singing that ain't really too many things be fine. Local rappers out here doing. Yeah. What made you start getting into single? How did you go about start singing? I mean, I started singing in church, for real, for real. I started singing in choir and stuff like that. But as far as uh, social media and wanting to, you know what I'm saying, take it to the next level, it came from just trying to perfect it, you know what I'm saying, like doing videos or just getting inspiration from, you know what I'm saying, the top singers and stuff on the radio, stuff like that. So it's like me trying to imitate that and trying to get my voice to, you know what I'm saying, where I want it to be and stuff like that. It just basically motivated me to want to take it to the next level, basically. Okay, so you never you never took like no singing class or nothing? You just was the quiet? No, nah, I never so took it, no singing class or nothing. So it just was natural? Yeah, just natural. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I, I like the mixtape personally. What would you tell somebody else who's trying to come up and be a singer, being there so many rappers? What would you tell them to do to try to stand out? I basically would tell them to don't go with the wave that's, you know what I'm saying, going on right now, because I'm not doing that. Like, I don't... Right. I don't feel like I should or I, I should have to go with the wave or sound like somebody else. Like I uh I just heard from one of my uh one of my family members, like he told me he let somebody let one of his DJ friends hit a hit the tape and they told me that uh I should get with the sound of today. I'm like, hey, I'm, that's his opinion, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't I don't care what he's talking about. I'm not talking about what these other dudes talking about or changing my style or my vibe or nothing. I'm being me. That's all you got to do if you try and come up, you know what I'm saying? Be yourself, you know what I'm saying? Your time going to come. Somebody going to fuck with it, so hey. Right, right. So, like you said, you sing, but you also rap. Yeah. So, on your next project or on a couple more songs that you probably have in the future, can we expect more rapping or can we expect a lot or the same amount of singing? Uh, it's, it's probably going to be more singing. I feel like it's going to be more singing just because that's what I'm better at, but it's going to be... <clears throat> a little bit, a little bit of rap, just because I know I can do it, and I feel like that's another avenue to take. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to different beats and stuff like that, it just depends on the beats. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like it's gonna be more singing for me. You know what I'm saying? Just because of that's Tyler, what you do. Yeah, you know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah. All right. So I would say, do you do you listen to any of these dudes? Not as you don't not even have to be made, like local. Yeah. You know what I'm like who do you listen to to try to I guess stay away from? Or, or who do you listen to to be like, okay, I'm going to take more of their approach? I mean, I don't really think about it as taking anybody's approach. You know what I'm saying? I just, I love music, so I'm saying? I listen to everything, for real, for real. Like, back in the day, I, I was a real Wayne fan, you know what I'm saying? When I was younger, I used to listen to a lot of uh, Usher, Michael Jackson, you know what I'm saying? Donnell Jones, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Then I, I used to listen to motherfucking T-Pain. Right now, I listen to, like, uh... I like I like Travis Scott, you know what I'm saying? I like right. him a little bit. I like, I like Fetty Wap, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Local artists. I just, you know what I'm saying, really start listening to uh, local artists real pro just because of, you know what I'm saying, networking and stuff like that, just to see what they, bring to, the yeah, what they bring to the table and stuff like that. I like uh, I like 3 old Black. I like, uh, you know, I like him trying to trail. I like Light Show. He cool, you know what I'm saying? Uh, who else? Swipey was like that, you know what I'm saying? Right. Couple more flock, flock I, right, I'm saying flock like that. I, I know flock, I'm saying. Oh, okay. He like that, I'm saying. Uh, so yeah. like I know, like I know you and Clue and I, yeah, like you said earlier, y'all know a lot of rappers who yeah. out here. Yeah. Do y'all try to like not you? I know y'all don't want to use them. You get what I'm saying? But like people know them more than they do y'all. So like, would y'all think about doing music with them, or would y'all like stay y'all own and be like, we gonna wait till we get to people start asking us to do music. That y'all be like, oh, you gonna hop in this future with me? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I feel what you're saying. I mean, whatever, whatever happens, happens. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even trying to push it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just focused on me trying to do what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? If that come, it come. You know what I'm saying? We ain't doing it now, so it's like, oh, right. <laughs> you feel me? So, all right, now, now off the off the music. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about let's talk about the girls, the girls, because. You being light skin, that's one, you know, I know that. That's what yeah, I'm yeah. saying, but light skin and you can sing. Like yeah. I know you got a lot of girls that come here. Tell us about how that go. <laughs> hey, it ain't even like they, you know what I'm saying, coming at me, it's just, oh, you can sing, you know what I'm saying? That's I guess it's just something for females that females like a dude that can sing, you know what I'm saying? So 
just something else to add on to, I guess. <laughs> you feel me? Like, all right, it ain't that much. It ain't too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's just. Sing it. Yeah. I mean, a lot, I know, people, a lot of people can't sing. You know what I'm saying? People, a lot of people just say, "Yeah, I can't sing." You know what I'm saying? Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Me, always growing up, girls always ask me, "Can I can sing?" You know what I'm saying? So I just, I just from a person, yeah. I can't sing. So I wonder how it is from a person who can sing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I draw. It's all right, bro. But it's just like you just get asked to sing all the time, bro. Right, right. It's right. like it's annoying. Like, nah. If you sing for me, I sing for you. Like, what you mean? Like, I'm not about to be just singing out here. <laughs> right, that makes, that makes Go listen to my song. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can do that. Yeah. All right, I'm saying you got the girls, you got the music. Simplicity just dropped. Make sure y'all go get that. Yeah, it's been really, man. Hosted by DJ Blue Star. Produced by my man J Rob, man. Check out both of them. Right, all right, so you got the music, you got the girls. Tell us a little bit like your style, what you with. I mean, I don't, I don't really do too much with the, with the, uh, you know what I'm saying? Big name brand. I mean, I, I do, but I just, I wear stuff like balls. I wear G Star, you know what I'm saying? I don't really do too much because I ain't about to spend all that, bro. I spend my money on something else, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. I wear Jordans, I wear, you know what I'm saying, Nikes. I fuck with New Balance, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with the North Face shit. I wear that shit, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with North Face shit. So, shit like that. All right, so you know you do you do a lot of singing, you rap. Tell us about what you do in your free time besides, not like when it don't come to music, girls hanging out with your friends. When you come, you just by yourself chilling. What's some stuff you do? Shit, by myself chilling. I'm smoking. I'm writing. <laughs> I'm fucking playing P4 or some shit. I'm cooking or something. You know what I'm saying I read books and shit like that. You know what I'm saying I research fucking black history and shit like that. I love that shit because. He was definitely mis- miseducated on our fucking history, so it's like, I definitely, that's something that's important to me, all that, you know what I'm saying, trying to figure out the real story, and, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that, but that's another story, so that's some of the stuff I do. Okay. Uh, I mean, well, I just hope you, you know, you keep grinding, keep working hard, you got simplicity, make sure y'all go get that, like he said, Spin Rilla just came out on the 30th. Grab sure that. Y'all go, like, any more shout outs you want to get? The cameras hey, on shout y'all. out Cool, shout out Moneybag, shout out my man Measy the Dom, man. Shout out the fam, JBC, man. Shout out to Steph, shout out TJ, man. Shout out DJ Blue Star, you already said that, but yeah, everybody. Shout out my man right here, shout out my man Manny, shout out Pops, shout out everybody, man. Right. Fuck with that tape, man. Go see that. Alright, you have to keep grinding, keep working hard. Right, Just man. hope to keep having fun. Too busy having fun. Shit ain't going right, I know I ain't the 